A gunman takes aim at a Las Vegas concert, killing at least 58 people and injuring more than 515 others. And now the work to figure out what's behind the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. Good afternoon. I'm Michelle Griego. Kenny is on assignment. CBS reporter Danielle Nottingham is live in Las Vegas with the chaotic moments and what's next. Danielle? Law enforcement officials say they had no knowledge of Stephen Paddock. He wasn't in their local or federal databases. And a family member says he never noticed any signs of trouble. Law enforcement officers cordoned off the crime scene as they continue to identify bodies in the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. Country music star Jason Aldean was performing at the Route 91 Harvest Festival Sunday night when gunshots rang out. Get down, stay down. There's people laying everywhere. People were bleeding. We have an active shooter. We have an active shooter inside the fairground. Many in the estimated crowd of 22,000 thought it was fireworks until victims started falling. I saw people in front of me get hit with bullets, and my first thing was just to hop on my friends and make sure everyone was okay. Police identified the shooter as 64-year-old Stephen Paddock from Mesquite, Nevada. They say he opened fire from his hotel room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay onto the crowd below before killing himself. We have one suspect down inside the room. Police describe Paddock as a lone wolf with no known motive. The Islamic State claimed responsibility, but the FBI says there's no immediate evidence connecting the attack to an international terror group. I don't know how it could have been prevented if we didn't have any prior knowledge to this individual. Paddock's brother says the family is horrified and they have no idea what triggered the rampage. No religious affiliation, no political affiliation, no, he, he just hung out. And no history of mental illness. Not a bit. Authorities are asking for blood donations and say it will take time to identify all the dead and injured. Police say Paddock killed himself before SWAT team stormed the hotel room. Investigators say he had at least 10 rifles with him and used two windows to shoot down into the crowd. Live in Las Vegas, Danielle Nottingham. Now back to you. And Danielle, what about the search for the suspect's companion? Yeah, uh, investigators were looking for his companion when this first started, Mary Lou Danley, and they actually found her. She's out of the country right now. Now, they're not sure if she's connected to this attack right now. They're not saying that she is, but they are interested in speaking with her uh, when she returns to the country. The two did live together, and so she will most likely have some information that could help them in their investigation. Definitely a little more background information about him. All right, Danielle Nottingham live in Las Vegas. Thank you. And as Danielle mentioned, the suspect lives in Mesquite, Nevada. That's about 80 miles northeast of Vegas. Authorities breached his garage door and then searched his home and found weapons and ammunition. They did not give any details, though. We are told Mesquite is a retiree community with several casinos and golf courses. About 18,000 people live there. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and Clark County Coroner's Office have established a hotline for families or friends to report a missing loved one. Officials have also set up a GoFundMe page. At last check, $846,000 has been raised of the $1 million goal. Multiple, multiple police officers were among those killed or injured, and authorities say an off-duty officer from Las Vegas died. Two others on-duty officers were wounded. They were from Bakersfield and Orange County. Officials say they are expected to survive.